Today, Catherine and I are gonna be showing you the differences between anterior pelvic tilt with hyperlordosis and sway back posture. What's up everybody, how you doing? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about sway back posture versus a you know, posture with hyperlordosis and anterior pelvic tilt. Now, the reason why I decided to make this video is because these things get confused a lot, and I've either even seen, you know, experts on the internet label these things wrong on their website, which is kind of alarming. So, I kind of wanted to shed some light on this and bring some clarity to this topic. This is actually a really big deal because if you're doing exercises for, let's say, an anterior pelvic tilt, but you don't actually have that, you have sway back instead, then you'll actually be making the sway back worse. So, it's very important that you determine which one you have and you don't confuse the two. All right, so let's get into the key differences. All right, so basically to start off, I'm gonna show you the main characteristics uh, and the differences between anterior pelvic tilt and sway back. So anterior means towards the front. When you have an anterior tilt, basically that means that the pelvis is tilted forwards, okay? Sloped down like that, okay? And when your pelvis tilts forwards, your back typically goes into hyperextension. It arches, okay? So this is the classic anterior pelvic tilt with hyperlumbar lordosis, okay? So take note of it. Typically, it's characterized by the back of the pelvis being higher than the front of the pelvis. Your pelvis is tilted forwards and your back is arched excessively, okay? Now, sway back is a totally different thing altogether, okay? Sway back is usually characterized by some of the exact opposite qualities, okay? One of them being a posterior tilt, meaning that the, yeah, just like Catherine, the butt is kind of tucked underneath. So instead of being tilted forwards, it's tucked underneath. What we'll see with this typically is actually a reduced curve in the lumbar spine, okay? So that inwards curve that she had going a second ago with the anterior pelvic, go back to an anterior pelvic tilt, that when you're in a posterior pelvic tilt, which, which is what you typically will have with sway back, is almost gone. So your lower back will be flat, okay? Typically also with sway back, the hips will kind of be pushed out in front and the upper body will be leaning backwards, okay? The legs usually are straight, so kind of straighten out your legs. This is not natural for the stand like this, but this is like a little bit more, put your head forward a little bit. This is more characteristic of sway back posture, right? The hips are actually tucked underneath and there's usually a, a decent degree of thoracic kyphosis, which is rounding of the upper back. So the hips are in a posterior pelvic tilt and they're shifted forwards, okay? So one thing you really wanna keep in mind here and another big characteristic of sway back is that the hip bone out here is in front of the ear, right? So this, there's a bone right here in your hip called the greater trochanter. This is supposed to line up with the hole in your ear, okay? But you can see Catherine's head basically is far back Okay, this line, if, if it came up vertical, it'd be like right here. This is where her ear should be, right? So the main difference is here, go ahead, relax, Catherine. With anterior pelvic tilt, anterior pelvic tilt's pretty easy. Your pelvis tilts forward, your back arches excessively. With a post, with sway back, you're gonna see almost the exact opposite. Tucked underneath, um, almost reduced curve in the lower back, hips pushed out in front of you, okay? Now, I think sometimes people confuse the, um, this for, I don't really know why people confuse this for sway back, okay? It's, it's a totally different postural issue. Um, Catherine's standing with really bad sway back there. Most people don't have it that bad. But the key differences are, with the anterior pelvic tilt, you're gonna, you know, in lordosis, you're gonna have arching of the lower back and a pelvis that's tilted forwards. With sway back, you're gonna have a pelvis that's tilted backwards, the curve in your lower back is gonna be gone, and the hips are gonna be swayed forwards and the pelvis is gonna be swayed back. That ear hole is gonna be in front of your hips. You're basically standing with your hips pushed out in front of you like this, okay? It might look weird, but it's very, very common. Go ahead, relax, Catherine. Um, a lot of people actually stand that way, so those are the key differences between sway back and anterior pelvic tilt. There you have it. You now know the difference between sway back and anterior pelvic tilt posture with hyper lumbar lordosis. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have and you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click this over here. Also, if you want to learn more about anterior pelvic tilts, specifically if you if you know that you have an anterior pelvic tilt and you want to fix it, then make sure you download my anterior pelvic tilt workout, okay? It's free. All you have to do is click this button over here, or if you're watching on mobile, that link won't work. And what I want you to do is open up the link in the description down below. The first link down there, 
That basically is the same link that this one uh, is. They both take you to the same page on my website. I'll ask you to put in your email, and as soon as you put in your email, I'll send you the anterior pelvic tilt workout. And basically what the anterior pelvic tilt workout is, it's a lower body workout with a core focus, okay, that has exercises in it that will help to actively correct the anterior pelvic tilt. So again, if watching this video and watching some of my other videos, you determine that you have an anterior pelvic tilt, make sure you get that workout and you throw that into your routine, it will really help a lot. Other than that, I appreciate you for watching and I'll see you next time.